Hello, welcome to this simple but yet advanced Angular tutorial. In this video, we'll make a simple yet advanced Angular toggle responsive navigation. The idea is to create a kind of a hamburger menu like the one we always see on Bootstrap CSS applications. Here is example of the Bootstrap hamburger menu. On smaller screens such as mobile, the menu transitions to a toggle menu. So here, if we toggle this, it opens and closes our menu. We are going to go ahead and create such a menu, uh, but using Angular CLI and Angular Material. To do that, I have my text editor open. I created an application called Toggle Menu. In this application, I have a module called Shared Module, within which I have a component known as Navbar. And in this Navbar, what I did is just added some CSS here. So here is all of the CSS we'll need for our navigation bar. I will save that. And in the HTML uh, file, I went ahead a header with a class of navbar. In it, we have an ng class of navbar fix. But this is going to be determined by a boolean variable in our component class known as is fixed navbar. Next, I add a container with a flex layout. Um, you don't really need to use the Angular flex layout. You can just go ahead and write your own simple CSS. Next, what I have is another div, uh, and I have a class of navbar mobile tab. And within this div, I have the logo and a button for our toggle menu. This toggle menu is only going to show on devices like mobile. Next, I have another div with the top navbar. This is displayed as block on larger screens such as desktop, while on smaller screens such as mobile, at first instance, none, unless the toggled menu or the toggle button has been clicked, which transitions this to either opened or closed. Let's save that. Then in our component class, it's as simple as just adding here a host binding class of navbar opened. And I'd first of all set this to false. So when you open the application at first on the mobile side, uh, the navbar is going to be closed. So I set this to false. Next, I add a method known as toggle navbar, which is in correspondence with our toggle button here. What I did next is to add a boolean variable for our navbar fixed. So here I went ahead and added a variable known as its fixed navbar. And how can we determine or how can we set our navbar to fix? And to set the navbar position to fix, we determine that with a scroll event. And so that's where host listener comes in. We add a host listener that on a scroll of our application page or web page, if the offset is greater than 10, then let's set the is fixed navbar to true. Else, we just set the navbar to false. What we need to do next is just go to our app.component.html and add our navbar component. That is it. So if we save this now, and let's take a look in the browser to see what we have. Okay, so here we see we have a logo on the left hand side, and we have uh, our top navbar on the right hand side. Um, you, as you, the layout is done by the angular flex layout module so here if you scroll down it tends to a fixed navbar 
and if you scroll back up so you can see the transitions okay so let's check what happens on smaller screens and how responsive is our navbar as you can see on smaller screens like the galaxy s5 it transitions to a hamburger menu so here you have a toggle menu which if you hit on the toggle button it opens our menu or closes our menu and so that is all for this video i hope it helps you uh, in creating awesome angular applications